Hello, Northeast Middle School. This is Mr. Goff. Um, sorry that I couldn't be at school today for you guys, but I'm going to give you the lesson over the computer. What I'm going to have you guys do today is find images for your industrial arts project. If you are in eighth grade, you will be finding four images. That is one image for each side of your candy machine and a backup for each. If you are in seventh grade, you will be finding at least six images. Your box has four sides. So you will have a backup for at least three of the sides, um, and we will go from there. Now, some of you in eighth grade should have a small understanding about what the laser engraver can and cannot engrave. Remember, the laser engraver does not see three dimensions. The difference between three dimensions and two dimensions is depth, meaning, okay, for example, our faces, we know that our nose sticks off of our face, that our chin sticks out further than our neck. The computer does not do that or does not recognize that. What the computer sees is a black and white scale and it sees shades of colors. So because our nose is the same color as our chin and the same color as our neck, it makes all of those flat on the same plane and it makes our faces look very long. So with that being said, okay, photographs do not work well. And the reason why photographs don't work well our eyes are conditioned to see three dimensions. We know that our cheeks may stick out a little further. We know that our eyes are sunken back into our heads. The computer does not know that, okay? So I don't recommend using a photograph. For instance, okay, if you take a look here, I'll click on this picture. Again, we know that her chin is sticking out further from her neck. The computer will not pick up on this line right here. Okay, when it comes to other images, for instance, cartoons, the computer, okay, will see color in the sense of how dark or how light it is. Right here, the Powerpuff Girls, okay, you can see each color in this image is separated, all right, with a black outline. This image will work every single time without any issues, okay. As we scroll down, I can see something like Peppa Pig, okay? Notice here, a little bit of a darker shade of pink versus the lighter shade on the inside. This image is not separated with a black line, therefore it will not work. It's going to make both of those shades together and you're not going to be able to see the details, okay? A lot of students that like anime images, they have a lot of shading in and out with different colors, they don't work well. Because some images do not work, guys, this is why you are getting backups, okay? Again, eighth grade needs four images, seventh grade needs six images. Now that you guys know what images work and what images don't work, I'm gonna show you how I want you to save them. This is going to be a little bit different on your computers as far as the drop-down menu that you get, but it is the same steps. You're going to use a two finger click on the image you want. So if I want to use the Powerpuff Girls, I use two fingers on my trackpad and I click on the image. I'm going to get a drop down window. I want to click save image as. Okay, I don't want to save the link. I want to save the image. When I select that, you're going to get a window. Yours is going to look different. It's going to be much larger. Okay, and what you're going to see is going to be highlighted at the bottom of your screen, okay? Don't click anything. Once you click Save As, all you have to do is hit Backspace. It's going to delete the name of the file. It should leave the type of file. So for instance, in, when you hit Backspace, it might say .jpg, .tif, .gif. That is the type of file you need to leave that there, okay? So I'm just going to type .jpg, okay? This is what your image might look like, all right, once you hit backspace. Now, my name is Mr. Goff. I am going to save this Goff1 because it's my first image, and I click save, okay? Say I want to use this Simpsons photo for my next image. Same exact steps, two fingers. I click on the trackpad, save image as. You hit backspace, golf two, because it's my second image and I hit save. Okay. Once you have saved all of your images, it is very simple. 
you're going to go to your Gmail accounts. Once you enter your Gmail account, you are going to click on Compose an Email. It should be in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. I choose Compose. You should get a window that shows up. The two, who you're sending it to is me, Mr. Goff. My email is E-G-O-U-G-H at B-A-S-D schools dot O-R-G. If you've sent me an image in the past, you should see an image of a dog with a life vest. You can click on that. The subject is going to be your name, okay? So my name is Eric. If this is period two, it would be Eric period two, okay? Now, we need to attach your images to your email. We come down here to the bottom of the email. We click attach file. If you save these appropriately, you should be able to click your name one and select open. That's going to attach the image to your email. I'm going to come down to the bottom of my screen. I'm going to select the paper clip again. I'm going to choose image two, Eric two, and choose open. I'm going to add all of my images to my email, and when I'm done, then I'm going to send it. Why are we doing it this way? Because now I can go to your email. I have all of your images in one location. I don't need to search all over for them. If all of the students in the class shared them to a Google Doc or to a Google folder, I would have hundreds of images that we would still have to look through to find yours. This is the easiest way that I can get everybody's done appropriately and quickly. If you guys have any questions, please just rewatch the video. Remember, computer does not see three dimensions. The computer sees a black and white scale, okay? Outlines work well. Coloring book pages work well. Photographs do not work well. You're going to use two fingers to click on your image. Save image as. Backspace deletes the name of the file, not the type. You type your name and the image number and you click save. Once you've done and saved all your images, you're going to go to Gmail. You're going to go to Compose. You're going to send the email to Mr. Goff, okay? Your name and period number is the subject. Attach the emails with the paperclip or the images to the email with the paperclip at the bottom and click send, okay? If you guys have trouble with this or you're struggling, don't worry about it. We can take a little bit of time when I get back, but I would like you guys to have your images for when we start. I hope everybody has a great and safe weekend, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.